the people Maddie Deer of In the Black helping achieve emotional and on side of financial and some emotional well being. Uh, also, your life coach here. So, I uh, wanted to make this quick fall video and hey, hope your Christmas is good. New Year's is this Sunday, it's 2017, 2018 is upon us. Hope you a good time. I had a good time with my family. Good is had a good time with my uh, extended part of my family, of which ironically was which was my mom's side and her and I still aren't talking talking at the moment. And uh, still didn't get any um, I didn't get any phone call or anything from her from Christmas for Christmas. So whatever, it's fine. Is what it is. But hey, you can't control people, and you gotta learn to love people who they are. And it takes a while to get to that point. But anyways, I'm digressing here. So um, you know. You watch the video. Let me know. Let me know how your Christmas was uh, down below. I'm curious to now also post something on the discussion portion of the page. I know I'm pointing to my right because you it makes sense to do that because I have a second screen that you can't see. But whatever, anyways. So, um, what was I gonna say? So going back on going back to kind of expand a little bit more on the whole jealous moms or their daughters and I'm glad whoever you are that suggested that thank you for for that for that for that suggestion anyone who watches my videos if there's any topic in regards to you know, having, having issues with your parents any topic let me know and I'll gladly do a video on it. I want to know you know what you guys want to see more from me and it seems to be the most popular topic is problems with moms toxic manipulative jealous Whatever one, whatever bad ad adjective next to mom you want to put there, that seems to be not so much with dads. It's funny. It's like, I think I, f I don't know why that is, but I feel like maybe dads get bashed enough as it is in our society for not paying child support. But it comes to moms, that one really, really resonated and hit a spot with a lot of you because I have two videos which which are like over two thousand views at this point and they're gonna keep going, but. That seems to be something that that people really really resonate with, and I can because people want to act like, oh, it's your mom, you should just let it go, just let her be, and it's like that's not the way it works, you know. People people don't get that. So, anyways, but to you know fully expand more on the thing, you know, like I said before, it's always funny to me how mothers can be jealous of their. Other of their daughters, and I wonder, I wonder if there's issues with fathers being jealous of their sons. That I've never heard about, and I bet it happens, but ne never hear about it. I wonder why. Hmm. So it's always fascinating me to have moms who are jealous of their daughters. When it's like, why would you be jealous of your own child if you chose, chose to, mind you, made the conscious decision to have a child, and you were given a daughter? If you're jealous of her, that is fucked up. It's fucked up. It's also on you. It's not fair to you or her. It's because it's something you helped bring to this world and raised, and just because they may have, I don't know, may look better than you or have better talent than you or doing things that you wish you could have done when you're younger, doesn't give you the right or the reason to hate them because of things that you have not dealt with. You can still deal with it now. It's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be fun, it's not gonna be comfortable, but when you threw past that bullshit on the other side is peace, joyousness, joyousness, if that's a word, happiness, like feeling better about yourself and, and also your daughter who loves you. And you know, like I said before, for those of you who are on the other, who, who are the daughter, the daughters that, that, are, that are watching this, you have to distance yourself from your mother, disconnect, and work on your own stuff. The things that you haven't resolved yet, the things that she has that you've taken on as truths, which are lies, her issues that you've taken on as truths for you, all the things she said to you, done, script your friends, your family, whatever it is. You have to take that and resolve it, feel out the emotions, and let that shit go. Because if you do, Things will become better for you. You'll be, you, you, you'll be you'll be able you'll be able to better handle your mother if you choose to. Okay, once you're done going through the healing process, and you'll see a difference in how they act. They're still gonna be them. They're not gonna change completely and, and suddenly be like, "I'm so sorry for all for all the shit I put you through." It's a possibility. It's rare, but most likely not. But you'll see a difference in them because we're all connected. And as you change on a deep deep level with them they'll change too by about this much which will 
actually help them to expand and experience more love and freedom. They won't realize it, but you'll see a difference. You know, and 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 and, and as with all family, you'll still fight with them from time to time. It happens. That's family. But the difference, the dif- the difference is for you this time is that you'll be able to get rid of that shit and let it go it's, instead of holding on to it, the other shit you've held on to for years and be able to, and be able to get through it. And a simple process to do this, it's real fucking simple. Whatever emotion comes up for you, if there's still a lot of anger, you got to take the time, take like, give yourself 30 minutes, the most an hour, 30 minutes, okay, it takes you longer, takes you longer, to simply take in deep breaths through your nose, out your mouth, and feel out the anger or whatever emotion you feel, whatever, wherever it is in your body, feel it out, and at some point it'll go away. You got to take it and do that, and then do it again, and again, and again, and again. So you will get to a point. It takes some time where you won't feel any emotion. They won't fuck. They won't fucking like bother you. And you can get to a point where you can truly forgive them, move on, reclaim your sanity, your happiness, have a good life. That is what you need to do. Now I simplified it because that's really the whole process. There's more stuff that comes up for you, but like I said, I'm a coach. I can help you with that. I can do a free coaching session with you. And if you feel like you got some value, we can discuss working together in the future. I'm telling you. You don't want to have issues with parents because it never goes away. It follows you forever and it sucks. But anyways, so I think that is it. Um, let me know your thoughts on the video below. Like, comment, please share, subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Get in the black and hey, let's talk. Peace.